blockchain here coming at you with another technical analysis update for those of you just tuning in i'm primarily an elliott wave trader using other areas of confluence and other technical analysis to really complement my price analysis so without further ado let's go ahead and dive into the charts All right, it is blockchain coming at you with another ETH technical analysis update. Before we dive into the charts, if you are new to my channel or my content, make sure you jump over to the website blockchaintatrading.com. The link is in the bottom uh, right underneath the video here. And um, right here, right where it says get my number one trading strategy for free. Yes, that is correct for free. I'm giving it away for free. Um, just make sure you hit the get in touch button. I'll actually send you a video demonstration of my number one trading strategy that is consistent, profitable, reliable, and applicable to any market. You can apply it to crypto or stocks, whatever the case may be. Um, so just click over there and I'll send you a free demonstration. If you're interested in joining the Discord that has over a thousand different traders in there, ranging from full time professionals to those who are just wanting to learn, um, you can do so as well by $25 a month at the little purchase button or 147 a year, which is actually half off the monthly rate for a year. Uh, the masterclass is completely sold out, so stay tuned for round two to come out there. And of course, the Elliott Wave masterclass, which has been the missing link for me personally, was learning Elliott Wave. Um, you can also do so from the Crypto Hippo right here as well. If you're new to crypto or trading in general, make sure you uh, check out some of the preferred vendors. You can actually get little discounts here from signing up. and. Um, these are all ones I've personally used before in the past and I would absolutely recommend. So make sure you guys check these guys out. All right, let's go ahead and uh, dive into the charts. We'll do a quick update and uh, just kind of look at where we were left off from the last video on Monday. So on ETH here, we had this move up and we we're finding resistance right at the top of the channel as well as the FIB line on GAN. Um, and you know right back up towards you know our local high that we've been having issues breaking up you know over and getting some confirmations but um so we did have a you know move up uh but it was you know very quick and short-lived unfortunately for the bulls so the bear stepped right in um had a nice move to the downside you can actually see that the you know the fib um the fib circle on the gan chart is giving it a little support here um as well as you know even this uh, 45 degree that we've been really that's been holding us up the entire time this entire run up uh, from what we've been looking at so uh, we were looking for breaks that you know is this potentially being a wave one going up to a wave you know two right here and a three to go up to 257 269 finish off a wave five completing a wave five up around the 290 mark so not a hundred percent off the table yet um, but it is getting close and you know we'll look at a couple short-term time frames to kind of see um but really that just makes this whole entire structure right here just you know a complex correction i don't see anything that is really coming across outside um you know very easy to read at the moment so we'll look at some smaller time frames but again this whole run up um, is we have two options from a w x y x z right here making this you know really another three wave complex correction move connecting another three wave that would take us to the downside or you know this whole thing right here is a wave four and um, you know it's resetting going into a wave five so on the daily a couple things to you know take note we are starting to see the hash ribbons cross back over into the green side um, and What's interesting, what we want to pay attention to is actually right here uh, from this move up, we got rejected outside of the bullish control zone. And we are now back underneath this FIB. So if we do lose the support of this other FIB, which is the fast moving, or not FIB, I'm sorry, um, this EMA, if we do lose support over this other fast moving EMA right here, then you know, uh, it'd be a little bit more difficult from continuation. But generally, we'll come back down, we'll retest it. If we don't find support right here on this fast moving EMA, if we go through it, then we'll be looking for potentially um, the volume band here. Um, and then 
after that, we start to look at the bearish control zone. So um, that is what we want to pay attention to here on, on the daily. So we did lose the bullish support here. Um, found a little bit of support on the volume band. I came back up, tested the bullish control zone and failed to get into it. So um, that's what we'll want to pay attention to. So if we fail to get in there, then we'll you know probably come back down and start testing a couple different levels here on the RSI. Uh, you can even see on the derivative oscillator as well, we are having some uh, you know, the momentum tape tapering off from the upside, obviously from this you know, pretty large move down. So um, we will see a lot of stuff is someone want to pay attention to. Now we still can come back, you know, at around down to like 200, um, you know, even, you know, the 185, we can still touch these areas and still get a fifth leg up to make this whole thing an impulsive move. So, you know, just because we are having, you know, some downside movement does not mean that the entire, you know, bullish scenario is off the table. Um, the only time, you know, we can really 100% confirm that is if we get back into the 150s. Then, obviously, you know, that's just going to, you know, really imply that um, this whole thing right here was 100% corrective. So, uh, still a lot of wave formations to, you know, play out and form uh, between them. So let's look at a couple of the 15 minutes and um, you know a couple of things that I was looking at the other day and watching from the last video. Um, let's actually, let's get this one here. All right. So from the last video, um, you know, we're looking at this potentially being a wave one. Um, due to the severity of this right here, I would really consider this right here an ABC. So that was our two options, that this was going to be either an ABC or a wave one going up and starting at a three. Now, it's not... 100%, but you know, due to the severity of this pullback, it is highly, highly likely that that was just an ABC. Um, I was originally looking at this as an expanded flat right here because it matches up perfectly for an expanded B wave. So let's actually get rid of this um, and show you guys what I was talking about. Let's just take these off so it's a little bit cleaner to look at. Um, so from an expanded B, You can see that it matches up very nicely with the 1.382 right there. And that would make this a very nice A, B, and a C. The problem is we got this other move down for an ABC. Because um, with the expanded ABC, we would get the 1.618 move down from the C leg. So I'm pulling the fibs. Now right here it matched up nicely. I mean we went through which is which is fine, um, but then we just got this other leg down right here um, that you know put us at the 2.618. Is it possible to be having like a very overextended C? I mean, yeah. It, I mean it, it's possible from a guideline perspective. Um, so, but generally when if it breaks this, um, it's something else that you know we can take a look at. So. With that break, um, another thing to potentially look at is if overall this could be a wave one um, and see what our fibs match up from that. And you can see that from, you know, potentially a wave one, that would be basically a one, two, this would be a three, four, and then come down again for a fifth um, that would be somewhere within this zone probably touch this you know trend line again um, if we do get that move we would break this purple trend line right here and if I zoom out let me actually go to the one hour real quick Um, this purple trend line, it's not the 45 that I showed you guys on the Gantt chart. However, it is a fairly significant trend line in regards to it's, you know, been holding us up 
you know, since, you know, at least for a few days, um, you know, going back from May 20th, you know, we've touched it a couple times and gotten some bounces off of it. So we are back to testing it again. Um, had a little bit of a move up, which, you know, um, right at the moment I'm looking at it potentially being a way four with another leg down, making it the fifth. And if that's the case, then we will probably, you know, come back up, retest it, and then come back down. So if we do get another leg down, looking at it to come down and touch the between the 2.236 and 2.618. So on the trend lines right here at about 224. So roughly the 225, the 223 ballpark um, to come back for another leg. I could potentially count three waves, um, you know, within the zone. You know, it would be a baby wave one, but uh, basically a one, two, three, four, and a five right here. Um, it is possible um, to get that in there. And if that's the case, then this move up instead of ending here would have ended here and basically it would just be a one two three and then we'd have a fourth and then a truncated fifth so you can see that um, you know pulling some fibs it also did get us up to roughly the 4.236 um, with heavy resistance on the top of this channel. So um, this would obviously right here overextended third. So with an extended third wave, you know, it would make sense to have somewhat of a truncated fifth. Um, so it's ultimately be looking at it for that piece. But overall, just, you know, this whole thing right here being an ABC zigzag, because we did have a five wave cake off right here. So it does need to end with a five wave. Uh, which would make sense for just you know, you know an ABC zigzag. If you pull the fibs from these two here for the zero A and B and C, um, you can see we get a 2.236 extension hit right here, which is you know pretty common for a uh, a zigzag. So what are some of the oscillators telling us right now? Um, it was kind of you know, on the 15 minute here. It's what I like to look at a few setups. But um, so here I did see this other move up and we hit that expanded B and that's what I was looking to play and have just a C come back down. But being how violent that it was from the initial reaction right here, I held it, still held it. I'm still in a short position, but I, you know, beautiful entry really can't complain about that entry at all especially with a move like this um i know a member in our discord danny he's up over 100 percent on his trade on catching a short up here as well um so kudos to you sir but where are we are where are we currently you know what do we want to look for so on a fourth wave um you want to see the momentum oscillators reset I and mean, that's really what we're doing but it's pretty interesting to see this rsi right here just bouncing back and forth between the fast ema and that volume man just I mean, ping, 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 ping. Probably come back, retest the top of the bullish control zone. You know, we can see that we obviously have some bearish divergence right here. And, you know, this, also this whole move right here also setting it in as well. So um, we like to see these reset on our way forward to have continuation to the downside. So I would, you know, I am expecting, you know, one more move. And at this point, being that it has, again, kicked off with a five wave move, have a three wave connection to make this either a wave one or potentially another ABC. Um, and you know, we'll just kind of need to see how it forms out. If we get this other leg down, um, you know, if we don't, then you know, it could potentially be finished here. Um, but that would again just imply that this right here is an ABC with an overextended C, and then kind of go from there. But based upon what I'm seeing, I'm looking for another move down, test the 224, um, have another ABC right here for a three wave corrective move to either again have us connect more for another leg down to the downside for a potential wave three or for another C wave. And we'll want to see, you know, what does that look like from the move down. But, um, if we do get down here, then really, I'd say 225 for sure, um, it validates this whole move up as a you know potential impulse. Um, you know we can have this potentially be 
for a wave three. Um, this can still you know, be a two where we are currently, and then we'd come up again for a third, fourth, and a fifth. It would just be a very deep retracement on a wave one. So it's not 100% off the table yet to make this and turn it into a third wave. However, due to the severity, it is highly unlikely, I would say, So, which is why I'm looking for another move down. If we get this move down, for sure, 100% off the table. This right here is just, um, you know, an ABC. So that's what I'm looking for. So if we get that leg down, confirmation that the impulsive move up is done, and this was an ABC, um, and we'll, I'd probably look for another equal leg to the downside if it's an ABC, or um, you know, potentially turn it into a wave three. Um, what are some potential targets for those? Now, if we get this leg down, again, projecting fairly far out. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Um, that's it. If we come down here, come back up, test the trend line, then back down. Um, you know, I'd start for a potential wave three. I'd be looking at roughly one hundred and ninety-three dollars for ETH um, for a zigzag and a wave C. Generally, anywhere from a one to one to a one point six one eight, roughly, is what we'd look at. So two hundred eight, um, basically two hundred and one ninety-three would be my main targets I'd be looking at for those uh, for continuation to the downside. So we'll see what this plays out, but first we've got to get this other leg down to break this piece and um, yeah, we'll go from there. So that's what I'm looking for guys. Again, as always, if you like my content um, and you value the charts that I do and um, just overall the content that I provide, make sure you smash the likes hit that little subscribe button, and I hope to see you guys in the Discord.